What's up fragrance family and friends, Tommy with Studio Sense here. Today we're talking about one of my absolute favorite type of men's cologne. You've heard of a feel good fragrance. That's just something that when you spray it on, just elevates your mood, brings to mind all those pleasant visual scenarios that just make you feel like you're gonna have a better day. So that is exactly why I call these better day fragrances. I hate using air quotes, but sometimes you need that emphasis. So today I'm going to introduce you or reintroduce you to my top five personal favorite water and wood or aquatic fragrances that are classically fresh and clean. If you're having a bad day, we'll turn that day around. If you're already having a good day, you'll have a better day. Got that and more coming up, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. So it's really hard to resist fragrances that when you first smell them, they open your third eye and you're able to see into interdimensional, multiversal, whatever. It just makes you feel good. And this of course is an oversimplification of a very complex association of feelings. When you smell a fragrance that you like, it brings to mind all these fascinatingly pleasurable visuals. It literally pings your visual cortex, not only makes you feel good, but you carry that with you throughout your day. And again, it turns a bad day good, makes a good day better. So we're looking at my top five favorite water and wood or aquatic fragrances that are classically clean and fresh. One of the things that I feel like have created a positive neuro association with water and fragrance, aquatic fragrances, being able to wear them and they just immediately transport you to another place, typically a place where there's sand. You've got the relaxing waves of the ocean, the susurration that just puts you to sleep or calms you. So you've got this whole idea of vacation spot when it comes to aquatic fragrances. And that's one reason they're so popular. Aquatic is just kind of a limiting word that we're applying to these fragrances. It's so that people can put them in a specific category. They are extremely fresh, clean, and mood elevating. Coming in at number five is one that I really enjoy wearing by Paco Rabanne. It's had two versions or iterations. It's been argued that the first one, which was produced or launched in 2016, is better than the 2018 version. I'll let you choose your favorite however because Paco Rabanne Invictus Aqua is an extremely fresh lightly sweet aquatic fragrance now whether your favorite aquatic is oceanic and briny or a little bit salty or fresh water just something that's a little bit sweet super clean each one of these fragrances embody all of those qualities and that's why they're in this list this immediately captures your attention with an opening of marine notes and a bit of grapefruit which is reminiscent of another very popular line for that reason. Its heart is one of ambergris, which is in itself, ambergris is a specific area of, of a whale anatomy. So it actually is pulling in all those kind of essences of the ocean that you like. That's in ambergris or ambroxan. Carries the DNA of the fragrance so much further. It creates this very admirable performance. It carries on that very sweet masculine Invictus DNA. Tons of woods in here. Brazilian rosewood uh, is an example. And then violet leaf. What a wonderful aquatic combination to bring you a feel-good day. Paco Rabanne's Invictus Aqua, coming in at number five. And guys, just a quick word about Invictus Aqua. It's still available, sometimes hard to find, but a great, I don't want to say replacement, but similar fragrance that in some ways is even better is one by Kinzo. It is Kinzo Am Eau de Parfum, the one that's in the bottle that has the slight gradient blue to clear. This is another fantastic, sweet, light bubblegum aquatic fragrance that does wonders for your day. And it's a bit cheaper than is Invictus Aqua. Now's about the time you're asking yourself, why is he talking about fragrances that are best used in warmer weather when it's cold right now? Because I want you to challenge your thinking there. I want you to challenge yourself and actually wear one of these fragrances if you own them or get it if you don't own it, and wear them during cooler weather. And see if you don't really enjoy wearing them for the reasons that I'm gonna be talking about today. Kind of challenge your whole rotation and the ideas that you have about that. Freshen it up and, and see if that doesn't actually aid in elevating your mood or increasing the probability of you having a better day. Coming in at number four is one of my favorite feel-good fragrances and another great example of why contrasts are so important in men's fragrance and in particular mood elevating fragrances. This great example of the use of contrasting notes to lift your 
sense of what's aromatically pleasing is by Yves Saint Laurent and it is Y O Fraiche. Y O Fraiche is such a wonderful, lemony, fresh, clean aquatic fragrance. This not only highlights why it's good to have contrasts in fragrance, but it's also a great representation of solids and liquids in a fragrance representing water and wood. To be able to wear the very elements that are around us and elevate our mood to have that on our body and on our person. You've got juniper, lavender, and peppermint. Those oils are all substantial and extremely permeating. They're very wakeful in how they come across, very aromatic, along with geranium in the heart is what brings the contrast, and that is frankincense and cedar wood. So you've got the woods, the incense in the base, top two tiers of the open and the mid is where you get that freshet of fruit and aquatics. And again, with the contrast of the base, bringing it to bear is one of the best fresh, clean, mood elevating fragrances you can try on or wear is YSL Y Eau Fraiche. And of course it has that very popular Y DNA. It's not something people are gonna smell and be like, what is this new thing? We've smelled this before, only it's a much brighter orientation than the original Y. And that's why it's coming in as number four in my top five water and wood fresh clean aquatic fragrances. Coming in at number three is a water and wood or aquatic fresh classically clean fragrance that technically could be any one of these in this line, but I really like this version of it. It is in fact the latest version of Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. It is light blue summer vibes. Not only is it in a great looking Majorca presentation, it's just a super fresh, lemony, zesty aquatic fragrance and a fun fragrance to wear. Fun? How can a fragrance be fun? This one is. When you, when you spray it on, you immediately get from your sense of smell immediately goes to your visual cortex. All this imagery that's positive and reminds you of, you know, holidays, beaches, the sound of people in the background having fun, maybe a theme park, you know, the sound of people on a roller coaster or something like that screaming. It's just, it's one of those great, again, mood elevating fragrances that you take for granted if you have it and have worn it before. But if you do have it, try it on again with that in mind. I think you'll really appreciate it if you don't definitely get your nose on. The good feels from this one comes from fresh Sicilian lemon. There's a couple types of woods. There's a evergreen cypress in the heart. And then of course, cedar wood is a great base. It's probably the most common wood in men's fragrance besides sandalwood. Cedar wood and sandalwood often work together, but in this case, we've got cypress and that's what brings this into the territory of a classic fresh aquatic fragrance. That's why it's coming in at number three in my top five fresh aquatic fragrances for men. Coming in at number two is a fragrance that's been described as a pebble. It is in the Bulgari Aqua line, which you're probably familiar with. There's several in that line that are great. It's troubling to pick out a favorite because they're all so good in, in, in what they do. This one, however, is one of the freshest, most clean, most almost dressed up version of an aquatic fragrance. It is Bulgari Aqua Porome Atlantique. Not only is this a super cool presentation, and I will tell you straight up that you'll want to spray it like this because that's where you know words are on the bottle, and usually that's the case. The front of the bottle is like this, and that's where the atomizer is and sprays. It's the opposite. You have to turn it around, and where there's no writing is actually where you spray the fragrance. Great atomizer, incredibly fresh and clean and blue, and this one has the elements of everything that you like in blue fragrance. Not only is it lightly marine, aquatic, it's fresh, it's got that light fruit, thanks to the Sicilian lemon. Also has a marine aquatic opening, some bergamot in the open for continuing fruit. You've got ambergris in the heart. And again, part of the contrast in the base of this one, not incense, but resins, benzoin, which is another kind of sweet resin. You've got benzoin, you've got patchouli, you've got vetiver and sandalwood. Remember, sandalwood is often used in lieu of cedar wood or often with cedar wood. In this case, sandalwood is the wood in the base of this and that's where we get the water and the wood. So aquatic in the top, in the base, our woods and our resins, and that gives us that rich contrast that we can just hang our hat on. Aromatically, one of the better fragrances that you can wear that will bring to mind what you love about blue, the blue genre of fragrances and adding that kind of deeper oceanic appeal to it, along with a fresh aquatic fruity combination, which all of these characterize to some degree, this one, one of the, one of the better. And again, 
that's why it's my number two in my top five fresh, classically clean aquatic fragrances, Bulgari Aqua Pour Homme Atlantique. All right, guys, we have sailed our way to number one in this fresh aquatic list of fragrances for men that are favorites of mine, favorites of many of you. And this one is definitely gonna be one because it's in that small grouping of fragrances that are the top selling fragrances for men of all time. It is by Giorgio Armani. It is Aqua de Jo, the Eau de Parfum, the EDP version of this wonderful, classically fresh and clean aquatic DNA. This brings together those yin and yang elements of water and wood, which is what all these fragrances are genreified by or classified as. And this one brings driftwood into the realm of, so not only do you get a wood, but you get a wood that's been pulling into its fibers, the very essence of what makes the ocean so attractive and magnetic. And so you've got that kind of wood in the fragrance along with that light brine, light salt, more salty than briny. Again, a combination of fruit and aquatic. You've got marine notes, green, uh, Italian, mandarin, orange. Again, that wonderful trio of sage, lavender, and geranium, which packs a powerful punch and is what carries aquatic fragrances on into six, seven, and eight hours wear. That's really how those three fragrances synergistically work together to give you that performance. That's the way it works in Aqua de Jo EDP. The base of extremely rich and sourced patchouli and vetiver is what rounds out this massively appealing water and wood combination and why it's my number one pick and potentially the number one in terms of men's cologne and just being a great introduction into the world of aquatic fragrances that happen to be signature scent worthy. So there you have it guys, Aqua de Jo Eau de Parfum, definitely worth owning and definitely worth trying out. It's a classic men's fragrance, the DNA from years ago, and yet it still is very fresh and appealing. This is a fresher take on it. It's a wonderful reinvention of a very familiar fragrance DNA. That's it for my top five water and wood classically clean and fresh fragrances for men to elevate your mood and to give you a better day. If you have a short list of fragrances that do that for you or have done that for you, please share those in the comments below. Or there's some out there that I missed because there are a ton of them that are designed for that particular purpose. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in today. As always, thank you so much for your continued support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video review.